Uh, it's about 8.30 in the morning now on a Saturday, August the 17th, 2019. Uh, Friday, yesterday, went pretty good. Then I drove my sleepy self back here to the camper, got a good night's rest, about to head out there again. But uh, for breakfast, though, I think I'm going to um, I'm going to go back to trying something strange during an episode, not just on the live stream. And uh, today is going to be limited release pumpkin pie Greek yogurt. Well, he's curious about that like pumpkin pie. But you want to try some of this too, Nestor? You want you want some of this too? Sorry. Not for kitty cats. That actually does taste like pumpkin pie. There is there is more of a pumpkin flavor in that than I get in a lot of the pumpkin fly, pie flavored ice cream or the pumpkin pie flavored M&Ms or a pumpkin pie flavored pop tarts or coffee creamer. Some of those are like a very faint pumpkin pie. Got most of this campground to myself. Though they, it looks like they, they rent out these uh, horse trailers and they let people ride horses around the property a lot. The silos over here are actually uh, little cabins or lodges I think they like to call them. This right here I call this one Crybaby. Yeah, that's why I call this one Crybaby. Cries a lot. This is uh, one of the barn cats. Apparently treated well enough that it doesn't mind coming up to a complete stranger. But uh, he or she has been bugging Nestor. Nestor had a hard time going to sleep last night. Keeping me up. There he is right there. You guys can see where he goes in and out of his pet door into his catio here. Crybaby, are you gonna leave Nestor alone? Are you just gonna just gonna mess with him? It's gonna be a hot one out there today. Today's water is lightly caffeinated, sparkling water, cucumber pear flavored. Cucumber pear. Never had that before, but sounds like something that would be right up my alley. And don't get on to me too much about how much coffee I'm going to be drinking today. It's going to be a 13 to 14 hour day out there. Try to make the most of it. According to the website, everything's supposed to start at 10. It is 10.30 now, and look... Look at how much foot traffic is already here. They uh, they start early out here. That's something common for country towns, I think, because there's so many farmers. You know how much they like to start early. We got a triangle head here, also known as a puppy German Shepherd. <sighs> okay, can you see the triangle? Oh wait, wait. Okay, have to back up. See where their ears ears comes together like that. Look at that. So the ears come together over the top of the fo uh, over the top of the head, making a tri <laughs> triangle. Oh, it's too bad they grow out of that because that is so freaking cute. <laughs> About 12:30 now. Already had a few drawings. I thought were pretty interesting. But I'm getting thirsty, and it's time to pull out and try my first pear cucumber sparkling water. Pear cucumber. You guys uh, might remember when I tried the cucumber soda from Fresh Time out in Indiana and loved it. Ah, for some reason that bottle, that can was really hard to open. Now let's see if pear cucumber is just as good. The cucumber is definitely the more dominant flavor there. Oh, oh wait, we got we got more. They won't. It looks like they're talking about getting one. Two o'clock now hottest part of the day 
midday slowdown. Fighting the temptation to go over there and get a nice big root beer float. Not gonna do it though. Got my hunger pain cure right here. If I just reach in and start eating it. Yeah, we got a outdoor dining table umbrella. Just carry that around for shade for the whole family. That's actually kind of smart. All right, we got two munchkins here with, that's not just a Yorkie, that is a Yorkie Poo. Yorkie and Poodle, right there. He's been riding around in a bag. So there's another way to keep your dogs from burning their feet. You can buy them booties, just let them ride around in, a, in one of these. So a bag with, a, with their head sticking out. He actually seems to love it. I was wrong. I think 4.30 is the hottest part of the day. But uh, I have never seen the middle of Saturday at the Watermelon Festival this empty. And the only reason for it is the heat. This definitely is record hot this year. Wow. But it's still better than those monsoons that I've had in the past. Second year in a row for these guys. And the rebuild. Okay, final one. This is, uh, I think it's a good one to end the night on. Well guys, it is 10.45 and I just finished up that last one and I was supposed to stop at 10 o'clock. So, uh, as you can see, that's the group of volunteers going around collecting trash. Everybody's breaking down quickly. So many people coming back to get another one. So many repeats. Uh, I guess you could say I've built up quite the clientele out here. It's to the point now where it's like, I gotta keep turning away money. I just can't get to everyone. People stand in line for a while and get fed up and walk off. I gotta get myself another artist to come out here with me next year. I, I just can't handle this one on my own anymore. <sighs> but at any rate, uh, you know, we were. I was supposed to stop and start breaking down at 10 o'clock. It is 10.45 now. According to the paperwork, they want the roads open by 11. That ain't about to happen. But I'm betting if it's still not open by 12, we're going to get some cops mad at us. So I got to start the breakdown quickly. It is 11.50 now, and there are a few more people, quite a few more people still breaking down. But here was my spot, 5.38, as you can see, I'm done. This time I wasn't the last one breaking down. It's all loaded up, and Franklin County Watermelon Festival of 2019 is done. Made it back to the camper safe. I think Nestor missed me a little bit. Well guys, I'm gonna eat some dinner and get some sleep. I think this is a good place to call this one done. That's pretty much everything from the incredibly busy blazing hot Franklin County Watermelon Festival 2019. If you guys have enjoyed this vlog, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up like button. Leave something down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already and uh, make sure to hit that bell until it turns black. Maybe YouTube will send you some notifications next time I update. And maybe they won't. I don't know. See you on the next one.